As the world waits on a vaccine for COVID-19, there's a new effort underway to try and create an alternative. This synthetic antibody trial is focusing on some of the most vulnerable populations, with a mobile lab traveling to nursing homes with COVID outbreaks to test out this experimental treatment. ABC's Bob Woodruff got an exclusive look at the trial in our latest Vaccine Watch. We're now heading towards Indiana. We got this call about an outbreak inside a nursing home. Because of this outbreak, to protect the privacy of the residents, we were asked not to show the exact location of this nursing home. They tell us we're on lockdown or we're closed down. Despite the lockdown, we were given an exclusive first-hand look at an experimental treatment designed to temporarily stop COVID-19 in its tracks, but it's not a vaccine. We have other trials that are getting underway right about now, and I will just mention one that I'm particularly going to watch closely, and that is the development and application of what's called monoclonal antibodies. Ready? Carrying those antibodies, this team was called in after two people inside tested positive for the virus. Unlike a typical research study where patients are asked to travel to a hospital or clinic, this time the team came to them. What's really exciting is that usually with trials like this, we have to bring the patients to us and we have to have them come to facilities, come to labs, come to areas where they can get this medicine. But this is the first of its kind where CareAccess Research is actually going into the facilities where these people are. It's bringing, it's bringing the trial to them. About 30 to 40 percent of COVID-related deaths nationwide are directly linked to nursing homes. So it usually starts with an infected healthcare worker who is unknowingly infected coming to work and unintentionally exposing multiple patients. Part of a late stage trial on the use of antibodies to prevent COVID-19, this mobile team deployed by pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly is setting up a makeshift lab here in this facility and will infuse any volunteers amongst the residents or staff. We show up at the facility and then we prepare the drug in the vehicle at the site. They'll prep all of either placebo, which is normal saline, or they're going to um, prep the actual neutralizing antibody as an infusion as well. Monoclonal antibodies are actually synthetic, man-made to replicate the ones you'd get naturally after recovering from COVID-19. These synthetic ones are easier and faster to produce on a large scale. We are giving patients the, the antibody which the vaccine is intended to make your body produce. We have the identical antibody that your body will produce, but we're giving it to you two weeks before your body can produce it. Before the volunteers are treated, the team begins in the mobile research unit. Okay, so let me talk you through what you've just entered. So this is a, an RV. So when we started looking at RVs, the big thing we were looking for was a small unit that could get into urban and rural settings. So they'll take this bag when they're done and take it out and take it inside and hang it up on the pole and then, right. then it'll drip into their, into That's their right. veins. You've got it. Okay. Before heading inside the lockdown facility. Right side first and then left side. We need to take precautions. That means Bob is negative. If this study proves effective, these antibodies could be used to grant temporary protection from COVID-19 to emergency workers or those most at risk, like Lynn Pixler, 81 years old. I'm actually looking forward to it. With everything that's going on, that I will do anything I can to help. I've led a full life, and if I can do anything at this end of my life, I really feel quite honored. So do you have no fear at all? No, no not at this age, no. <laughs> we're targets. We know we're targets for this disease. We have the age, many of us have some morbidity or we wouldn't be here. And everybody on the staff is doing everything they can to protect us. So this could end up protecting you from getting Absolutely, it's one more step. And uh, as it is, I'm taking a bigger chance going out without my mask than I would be going into this trial. Okay. Uh-huh. We're comfortable. Mm -hmm. the, this is the shrouded bag um, where either the treatment or the placebo lives under this. What, what do you want to get? Do you want a placebo or do you want like the real thing? Oh, I want the real thing. <laughs> Although we don't know which Lynn received, as of today, she remains negative for COVID-19. Eventually, the study will include more than 2,000 people, including Lynn, and results could be available within months. 
Scientists hope this therapy, monoclonal antibodies, will act as almost a mini vaccine, something that offers short-term protection from the virus. So hit. now you wait for the next outbreak. Correct. Mm -hmm. So we just go where we're, where we're called and where there's a next index case. This is Bob Woodruff tracking the race for a vaccine. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.